don't you blame the movies? Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Everyone, hey, welcome back to Slash Mini. This one, we talk horror nothing but horror. Has been doing, who's doing well. And today, everybody, welcome back to a brand new movie review. And today, I will be reviewing yet another Friday the 13th fan film. And I've talked about this fan film on the channel before. I reacted to its trailers. Uh, I even mentioned it in a video about keeping the Friday the 13th franchise alive because of the lawsuit and how things have happened like that. The same people who worked on this movie uh, have did actually work on Camp Blood uh, and I'll mention them in a moment. The movie is titled Rose Blood, a Friday Teen fan film. You, this film was released in the USA 29th of November 2021 and same date in the UK 29th of November 2021. This was directed by Peter Anthony who you also may know stars in this film and also stars as pretty much the main character in Fall of Camp Blood. The director is also worked on Friday the 13th Vengeance, which I believe is getting a sequel. IMBD gave this film a rating of a 7.5, but let's get, into re let's get into a review and see what I think about Roseblood. First off, I do have to mention this film, it runs, uh, the runtime of this movie is actually an hour or so. Um, it's an hour and something, an hour and a half or whatever that is. And every moment, I'm I'm actually intrigued in every single moment. This film takes place 13 months after Friday the 13th Part 7, which you may know was about a girl called Tina who had um, these powers. And in the film, she thinks she's bringing back her father from the dead, who she kind of caused the death of anyway when she was a little girl. Um, but instead, she actually brought back Jason Voorhees and, yeah, defeated him afterwards as well. So, the effects of the film are really well done. This film is brilliant. It's all mainly inside this laboratory that um, is very effective, like, very, very well done. The military presence in the building is very fun like there is one scene where we see like the group of this special military force talking to each other and they talk to one another but in like this very fun way like a group of people like if, if it takes me back to like alien because um if you've watched aliens the Marines in Aliens are kind of the same as this uh, military force in uh, Rosebud, where they talk the way they talk to each other. So, like they talk to each other, like they've known each other for so so long that they can just you know take the piss out of each other and you no know, laugh it off like and no big deal. And I like that. Story wise, this film is basically Tina is now living. Um, by the way, the original actress who played Tina is in this film. She shows up at the beginning, um, and she's basically seeing this doc, the sign, the doctor guy from the original uh, film. And basically, in this, they get someone who actually kind of looks like the original Tina actress uh, when she was younger. Uh, obviously, not her, but you know, kind of find someone who looks similar. And but then what happens is. There's this girl called Rose who they find who has similar abilities to Tina. And basically Tina kind of takes this sister, older sister role with Rose. Like they, they kind of become this slight sister thing. Um, and I believe Rose did kill her parents with her powers when I look back at it. Peter Anthony plays this... Um, kind of this hard ass uh like he's kind of the good guy but is that type of good guy where he'll do anything to get what he wants so basically this militia 
I wanted to bring back Jason and capture him for his regenerative for his regenerative abilities. So because obviously Jason can regenerate himself and obviously yeah. So because Jason can regenerate himself, they want to bring him back. They want to use Rose. They want to use Rose Athena to bring Jason back t- to life uh, from Camp Blood and basically from uh, uh, Crystal Lake and so on to bring him back, capture him, and then take his DNA and whatnot to uh, basically, you know, do that stuff. I know at one point uh, Peter Raffi's character gets um, like scratched in the eye or something and he wears uh, an eye patch and then later on it film Jason rips his eyeball out and like that scene is very very cool. Like, I love it the way it was shot. It was perfect and it was really well done. Jason doesn't really show up uh, in the film until probably near the ending and as soon as he does show up it's perfect it is the perfect moment for him to show up during this film and the film just is so good it's brilliant it's very well worked like I really like Friday Part 7 because I like the idea of it being this Kerry type character uh i believe in the original idea was for how ha- to have a jason versus kerry uh type thing because they couldn't get the right they couldn't get a, a deal between the people who made friday and that so they made this uh they couldn't get a deal yet and that's before it were announced so they wanted a versus so they c- couldn't get kerry so instead they went for the next best thing and got uh, their own version of Kerry, but like I think Tina's a fucking badass. <laughs> I and then they obviously brought back the original actress who played Tina at the end, and obviously at one point Rose brings back Michael fucking Myers, and I've just got to say Michael showing up at the end. Like as soon as Rose brought him back, I looked it and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> So, Rose, Rose's kind of like, both Rose and Tina, both of them kind of have these demons. Rose's demon is Michael Myers, kind of. And then you have Jason's, and then you've got Tina's demon, which is Jason. And they kind of both have them. And then Jason and fucking Michael fight. (laughs) Jason and Michael have a fight, and it's uh, Tina's trying to tell um, Rose to send them back, like send them back to hell, and Rose is just watching them. <laughs> Rose is just watching them, and sadly, Rose does end up dying. Um, far as I know, Rose does die. Uh, it's like I don't think we see her die, but I think it is implied that she does die. The film's just brilliant. I the ending is so well done and at the end I think one end credit the end credit scene is fucking uh it's um is it it's not Savini Jason no it's the hell Jason from the Friday team the game uh Jason looks like that and it's fucking brilliant it looks amazing and this entire film's great I've got to give this film a 10 out of 10, like I did with Camp Blood, because this is so fun. Like, both of both Camp Blood and Rose Blood are so fine and well done that they are so fun to watch. And watching Peter Anthony's, um, kind of, like, his direction and also his um, acting ability... Like, when you watch him in... I, I obviously watched Roseblood first, uh, before Campbell, because Roseblood came out first. When I originally watched Roseblood, I had to watch it again for this review. So it had been a bit since I watched it. Um, and then I watched uh, Camp Blood for that review, and I just, co- I just co- try to compare Peter Anthony's, like, two acting, and... 
his Rosebud character is a hard ass. He kind of doesn't have this moral compass, kind of. Like, he's kind of that villain of a film where he wants to get this bad guy's abilities, he wants to use this monster's abilities for his own for his own benefit, but it always goes awry and always fucks up. That's why when you watch films or, t- or TV shows like this and you're just sat there wondering, <laughs> you're all going to die. <laughs> you're all going to die either way because the monster's going to kill you. Like, there's no doubt about it. And the film is just brilliant. And then you see his character in Camp Blood, and his character in Camp Blood is fucking amazing. Like, his character in Camp Blood's brilliant. Both of them are brilliant. And I've just got to give props to Peter Anthony because, damn. <laughs> like, just damn. Just fantastic direction. Fantastic characters, fantastic, just all over the board, amazing. So that's why I'm going to give this film a 10 as well, like I did with um, Camp Blood. Right, everyone, hope you enjoyed this movie review of Roseblood, a uh, Friday 15 fan film. Hope everybody enjoyed. Don't forget, uh, down below there will be a link to the movie if you want to watch it yourselves. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to... Um, uh, again, I just want to say thank you to Peter Anthony for the shout out on Instagram. It meant a lot from my Camp Blood uh, review, and I do. Th- I don't really do these for recognition. I do these because I want to show people that there are fans out there. But thank you again, anyway. And really, Friday Thirteen fans, if you are a Friday Thirteen fan, go watch Fall of Camp Blood and Rose Blood. Go watch them. They are fucking brilliant and yeah there f- i've always said this and i'll say it again fan i want to thank slashing cast i want to thank peter and anyone else who has made a friday 15 fan film for keeping this private the friday 15 franchise alive this franchise that so many people love i want to thank you for keeping it alive and keeping it well done and showing um, the the actual the Hollywood people and everything that we want a fifteenth film, and that there is a way to do it, and you could even make sequels to other films. And yeah, this franchise is so dear to so many people. And yeah, but other than that, hope everybody enjoyed. I have been your host, Slasher. This has been Slasher. Ca- this has been Slasher Cast. It's not the podcast, Slasher. I hope I didn't say that in my intro. I hope I didn't. But everybody, this has been Slasher Media. The channel we talk around anything but horror. Go to the link tree down below to all the social medias. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram and all the good stuff. Support us on Patreon if you'd like to. Every little bit helps. Don't forget I stream on Twitch. Uh, and don't forget I'm going on holiday soon. So actually. The day, the the week this goes up on my channel, on the channel, I'm on holiday that Friday. Yeah, I'm going on, I'm setting off on holiday that Friday, so yeah, there's videos pre-recorded anyway, so don't worry. But yeah, everybody, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep on slashing, keep watching horror. I have been horror, I have been your host slasher, and this has been Slasher Media. And remember, keep on watching horror, keep watching, keep on slashing, keep watching horror. And I'll see you later. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Have you checked the children? children? I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. We all go a little mad sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Okay.